Well, good evening and welcome to our special July 4th edition of Tucker Carlson Tonight. We hope all of our viewers are enjoying the holiday today, one of the greatest ever. We're halfway through 2017, and in that span, we've had to spend a lot of time talking about Russian hacking, even though, as you may have noticed, no evidence at all has emerged that Russian agents were indeed responsible for altering the results of last fall's election. To give you an idea of how little has happened, consider this interview we conducted with Congressman Adam Schiff of Burbank, California, back in December. We could have had the same interview tonight, and not much would have changed. These hacks were of such seriousness, they could not have taken place without the approval at the highest levels of the Kremlin. That's so speculation, that and we've is, seen a lot. Well, it is speculation. That's it is what not it speculation. Is. You can only it's say a it's speculation. statement of fact. Uh, it is a, a statement of the intelligence community's best assessment. Okay. And, but, and but you can quarrel with that thing. because there's a political reason to do it, but... But it's this not, is what the this not, is what the intelligence professionals are saying. Well, they've and, told and we us a lot. You know, I've lived here a long time. I remember vividly the massive stockpiles of WMD in Iraq, which the intelligence community assured us were there, and they weren't. So, pardon me for my skepticism. I think it's a patriotic position. Oh, I, I, but let me just say I, this: I, we know well, Tucker, Tucker. Let me just say this: you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take. No, the, I, I've been following the directors. Here's what I don't get: there's been a lot of hacking. Ask the Republican members. Of I the get intelligence it, but committee. here we've had hacking really of the Pentagon, the White House, the State Department, the CIA director's personal email was hacked. We think in some cases by Russia. I don't remember you holding a press conference and saying, hey, Obama administration, your cybersecurity is pathetic. How specifically did the Russians make this election outcome different from what it would have been otherwise? How specifically did they, quote, hack our democracy? No, uh, we will never know, you know, whether this was determinative any more than Director Comey's involvement in the used? election. The means they used were hacking into democratic institutions uh, and the leaking of documents designed in the primary process to sow division between the Clinton and Sanders camps, something we saw actually took place as a result of that. Uh, and then in the general election to... Uh, attempt to discredit Secretary of State Clinton in a way that would harm her and would help Donald Trump. How did they do that? Uh, well, it was pretty obvious, wasn't it? They hacked, they released uh, documents that were... That were that real. Were, oh, yes, they were real, and they were ones that were damaging to Secretary Clinton. Uh, can you point to documents that they disclosed you that were arguing, damaging to the But are you Republican arguing... Party? Let's just get to the bottom line. You're upset because you think this affected the election. I get why you're upset. But are you well, arguing no, no, no. that voters, it's, it's not, it's and not other merely, reasons too, but are you arguing well, that voters should not have seen is, that information? This is an important point, though. It's not just the fact that it damaged the candidate I was supporting. All Americans, Democrats and Republicans, and particularly, you know, of the party okay. of Reagan, ought to be concerned when we have Russia Look, interfering in our political I get it. But are you affairs. arguing that voters should not have had the right to see that information. If you could take it back, would you say, voters, you're not allowed to see that information? Well, I would say that we ought to stop Russia from doing this. Now, whether the press should publish the information or not... Do you think they should? That, that is a different question. I think that there are some cases where the public interest is so great they should publish. But I also think, and this was an issue I took with the press during the campaign, that when they do publish information that the Russians have hacked and the Russians want us to see, they ought to uh, inform the public of the provenance of those emails. But they, they don't say, know it, in, and in neither Russian, do you. Oh, you yes. don't know that. You don't know that Tucker, the government. You you know, can, I think it's can, really irresponsible you can, for you to say you know that you, the you know what, government. You know what is uh, irresponsible, Tucker, for you to make that claim without looking at the evidence. And more importantly, you can't say that you know the Putin government. More did importantly, that. for the president-elect today. Uh, to, to say that you're he doesn't know whether you're the dodging. Russians... You're, you're look, you're, you're the on the facts. Intel Committee. Let me just ask you one final question. Can you look right into the camera and say, I know for a fact the government of Vladimir Putin was behind the hacks of John Podesta's email? Absolutely. The government of Vladimir Putin was behind the hacks of our institution and the dumping of, of information. Of John Podesta's email. Not only in the of United John Podesta's States, email. but also in Europe. Okay, you're uh, not... You know what? You're dodging. And, and, and Tucker... <laughs> no, you, look and you say, are, I know they did. John Podesta's emails, they hacked and those. And I think that uh, Ronald Reagan will be rolling oh, over Ronald his Reagan, grave fine. Ronald Reagan, and you're Ronald. carrying water for the Kremlin. I'm not which, carrying water which, for the... I'm, you're you making... Look, you're a sitting President member of Congress elect, on the Intel uh, Committee, uh, and you can't say I, I, they hacked... hacked. You're going you're gonna to have to move your show to, to RT Russian television because... You know what? This That's is perfect, just so this is beneath your office because it's so dumb and you're being duplicitous. I'm asking you, did they hack Podesta's emails and you can't say it? Like that, Tucker. You're you just said I was carrying. <laughs> oh, you said I was carrying water for Putin. That's pretty well, hilarious. It, you know, when you when you essentially are an apologist for the Kremlin, that's what you're doing. I'm an apologist. One last time, Congressman. 
looked in the camera and said they hacked John Podesta's emails. We know for a fact that Putin's government did that. You can't, and you know you can't, and you're hiding Tucker, behind I, I, weasel words. I, I, I just said that the, Say they Russians, hacked John the emails. Russians, I'm not going to be specific as oh, to Oh, because you don't know it. That's why. All right. Uh, Done. One. You don't know it, and you're alleging it Tucker, without any evidence. And it's you're, wrong. you're ignoring the evidence because you don't care. Uh, the fact that it, that it helped uh, the Republican <laughs> candidate is all you need to know, <laughs> That's apparently. Totally that's totally false. I just think if you're going to make a serious allegation about an actual country with an actual government, you ought to know what you're talking about, and, and you and don't. I think that you no. uh, ought to, ought to yeah. accept. I, I got to go. What, I'm what taking cash Democrats from Putin now. I'm on RT. Republicans okay, whatever. Uh, on the Intelligence Committee have seen for a fact. If, if you could uh, say and, it, you and would, and, and you can't, and you know be, that. If you're willing to be in denial about this because it, it suits a Republican elected president. Okay, whatever. You can blather on all you want, man, but I gave you a chance to state it clearly, and you wouldn't, which tells you everything you know. All right. Or a president. Okay. Not very much, apparently. I appreciate that, Congressman. And now I need to take a call from Vladimir Putin, so I'm going to put you on hold for one second. Well, Congressman Schiff wasn't the only one who couldn't provide a scintilla of evidence of Russian collusion. We brought a parade of Democrats onto the show over the months we've been on the air. And while all of them are happy to promote conspiracy theories, some of them real tinfoil hat stuff, none of them has provided any evidence to back them up. We are focusing to make sure that our republic is secure because of, of the uh, extraordinary intervention by a hostile foreign power. You're selling and crap to your voters, and you know that. You're telling our, our them that all their problems can be explained by Vladimir Putin's intervention no, into American that's politics. No, that's 100% not And it's true. insane, and it's sad, and they believe you because they trust you, I mean, but you're lying to them. We are literally going out there and campaigning every day on health care. That's what our candidates are going out there and talking to people about. That's what members of Congress are spending their time focusing on. I mean, if you turn on the TV Really? Because I live the here. I host a cable show in this city, and I can promise you that every person I talk to on the left is totally absorbed in the Russia story, and this poll, well, on which this whole segment is predicated, proves that it's true. Look, you heard the FBI director today say that Vladimir Putin hated Hillary Clinton, hated her. He personally hated her, and that's why he sought her defeat in the election. How do you think know? he made that up? He, or do you think I don't he know had... the answer. I'm asking you as a member of the Intel Committee. Yeah. How would he know something like that? I don't know what I think yeah. about things. We don't even know ourselves. How could he possibly know the innermost thoughts of Why are we really Russia? here? I mean, you're, you're, no, no, you're it's, trying a, to... it's a serious question. Yeah. Why would he allege something like that? How could he possibly know that? Because of intelligence reporting. Based on what? Through electronic sources that are in the public report that the intelligence community put out that he but there, there, there's no we indication have. of how we could know Vladimir Putin's innermost thoughts about Hillary Clinton and you're asking me well, to do you take think it we should tell the world it's how a, we collect intelligence no, I think before or should we, we trust I, the people who do it I, I think before government officials change our foreign policy and declare war against a sovereign country as you all are attempting to do we citizens have a right to know on what basis you're doing that this conspiracy is a lot deeper than I thought it was so you're saying, I mean, it's one thing to say, okay, members of the Trump administration met with Russian officials. That kind of thing happens a lot. Maybe it's ominous, maybe it's not. Well, you're and to saying, lie about it. And, and okay, that's an that, important that, that, thing. That's no, to lie you're about saying it. now that the, that the military action we just saw on Thursday night may have been coordinated with the Russians to throw sleuths like you off the scent. That appears to be what you're saying. Yeah. And that just seems like a huge conspiracy to me. <laughs> well, it's a conspiracy if it's a conspiracy, but the reality is I'm just giving it to you as a plausible explanation. No, plausible that's why I said whom? I'm not going to confirm it. <laughs> I, look, I know you, you would know love for me to say that? that and confirm it. I'm just saying that there are people who think that. The truth is Jeff Sessions had nothing to do with Russia hacking into well, that, various well, computer well, systems, well, and there's no evidence to suggest otherwise. So why continue the charade? Tucker, what we know is that the Russians were laser-focused on lifting the sanctions against their regime as a result of the invasion of Crimea, Crimea and Ukraine. They were successful in having the Republican Party platform changed. We don't know how or why. We yeah, should. That's ridiculous. Let me finish. That's Excuse absurd. Excuse me. Now you're saying well, things no, are that's just dumb. No, we that's, don't know that. No, I well, mean, they did change the platform, and we don't well, know why. The platform committee? I, was, I didn't see any. Was Kislyak there? I didn't see any Russians Excuse in the Excuse me. Committee. We know the platform committee was changed, and that was the, an well, because of the Russians. Were they I, in the meeting? I, I didn't say that. If, I did, if I did, I, I said we should find out why it was changed. But here's the no, point. No, you just said the here's Russians the got it changed in the Republican well, platform. Well, then I misspoke. You what don't I, know that. No, I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that allegation, but we ought to get to the bottom of it. No, <laughs> okay, listen to me. Okay. Listen, Tucker. So Tucker. anyone who's against sanctions, I'm against sanctions on Russia. Why? Does that make me a tool of Putin? Because you don't care about the invasion of Ukraine or Crimea? Because no, you don't I, I don't think those are central to American interests, actually. No, I have a legitimate policy disagreement. Am I a spy, too? I'm getting very frustrated. I don't know what it means to hack an election. 
don't know exactly what they did that would constitute a crime so severe that you'd have to spy on the Trump campaign to prove it. Tucker, what is that They evidence? hacked into the DNC's emails, and they leaked those emails out in a strategic really? way to impact then the election. Why and won't all of our you know intelligence that? How agencies... Do you know that? Because every single one of our intelligence agencies have said that. Director Comey has said that. Oh, Clapper they has said that. that. They, they said have that. All no, said actually, that. then... And if you don't trust you, them, maybe you can that's answer, a different maybe story. Maybe you can answer this question. I asked the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff of Burbank, California, can you look me straight in the face and say that you have evidence that the Russian government hacked John Podesta or the DNC email accounts? And he declined to do that. So I just want to know, unless you and I have to go on faith, we have to trust politicians in a political system on faith, why don't we get some evidence that any of this actually happened? Why I don't, don't we all have to sort of nod and say, oh, yeah, it must have happened because, like, the Washington Post says it happened? Where's the evidence?